example for the technical exercise for module six. So um, step one, I already have open the pet shop tutorial. So we're going to uh, set up the development environment and do everything here. I highly recommend everybody just read this in depth. That's why this is going to be a quick tutorial. That way you guys read it on your own time um, and just to show you basically um, just the basic um, steps. So I'm, I use, like to use Visual Studio Code as my IDE. Um, you can use whatever you want, but Visual Studio Code is available both on <clears throat> Microsoft Windows and on Apple. So uh, first, we're going to create a new folder called um, Pet Shop Tutorial. This is actually one of the steps further on, but I want to have my environment already set up. So Pet Shop Tutorial, we're going to drag it over here. <clears throat> you could also just open it from VS Code, but the drag and drop is really nice. Okay, so now for this command to install Truffle, we are going to open a terminal. Uh, this is also the command key that I will be using to open a terminal. All right, so give it a second to load. I already installed um, npm install uh, global truffle. G stands for global, but I'll just show you here really quickly. Install dash G and then truffle. Hopefully it won't take too long since I already um, installed it. Um, and to see whether node if you you should already have node and npm um, and git by now if not you can always check i'm going to open up a new terminal just to show you how you can check if something is already installed so we can do node dash dash version tells you the version if you have it installed npm dash dash version tells you the version and then git dash dash version with git if you don't have it installed you could always be you can um, look up how to install it here. Um, if you accidentally um, just hit NPM or node and it brings you into like this kind of setup, um, in order to exit, just do the control C button, uh, control C again, or you can also type exit. So there are always ways to get out of this. All right, so let's go back to our terminal. Okay, so it decided to download Truffle all over again. That's fine because the next step is going to be to download Ganache. So again, I already um, installed, uh, downloaded Ganache, but if you just click that link, it'll take you to where you can um, download it. I clicked it, I downloaded it, and um, I added, it has that DMG, you double click the DMG, it makes you, um, you know, slide the app over to your little folder, and now you should see the Ganache app there. Okay, so after Truffle getting downloaded and Ganache getting downloaded, we're going to, um, go into our pet shop tutorial folder. So we already created that. It's already open. We're already in it. This is how you know that you're in it. Um, this is our root directory. Okay. So um, the next thing we're going to do after this is uh, done unload uh, installing again is um, unbox their pet shop. So basically they already created a template for us. And um, it's already, when we unbox this pet shop, it's already gonna have like all the files that we need, well, most of the files that we need installed. Um, so right now it's empty, and then when we unbox it, it'll fill that up for us. So give it a second. Um, this is what it's gonna look like once we unbox it. It's gonna have um, these folders and these files. And when you see a forward slash in front of it, that means it's a folder. When you see it appended um, with, um, dot something that means it's a file so it's almost done there we go okay so now truffle on box pet shop okay so once that is done this is the structure that we will see and i'll show you next section on writing a smart contract we're going to create a new file called adoption and we're going to put it in our contracts so once that's done we'll do that um, then we're going to fill in that file with um, the following code, the variables and the functions. Again, highly recommend that you guys read all of this thoroughly to understand what it's really doing. There we go. This is just a high level overview. Okay, so uh, that finished unpacking. As you see, it downloaded all of these files for us. So now um, the first step, creating a new file named adoption.soul. There's two ways to create a file. I like to do it on the terminal using touch. Um, this is for window, uh, sorry, for Mac. Um, but um, instead of the touch command, you could also just use um, this 
command. So on our contracts, we're going to create a new file. See how it says new file? And we're going to call it adoption.sol. There we go. Oh, if you see these little mark, if you don't have these little markers, it probably means that you don't have the extension installed. Um, I um, I recommend installing the extension so that it looks pretty um, like this. So this is, what, where is the one that I have installed? There's a soul, um, there we go, SAS, no, Scala, Solidity. So there's a, uh, an extension called Solidity. Basically, you just look it up here in the extension and then install it if you don't already have it installed. Same thing for JavaScript. Um, find like a nice JavaScript um, extension. Usually the best ones are at the very top. Okay. So adoption here, soul here, Here's our, we opened up our adoption uh, file and you can just copy and paste here. Okay, make sure to read all this, variable setup. Okay, so we're gonna put this within our adoption contract. So anything that is within uh, curly braces is called an object. In this case, um, it's specifically a contract object. And this is where we're gonna, we're gonna put this in, see how it's like, okay, after this, um, beginning parenthesis, but before the end parenthesis. Okay, now we're going to add a function within that same contract. This up. Um, uh, I am a stickler for formatting because it helps you see whenever there's like nested information, like whenever something is inside curly braces, um, you want to tab the next the lines inside of it. That also helps to like um, if you want to like hide it later and in, in like if it's taking up too much space, which in case you want to add notes, it will, you know, take up space. Um, formatting helps so that you can hide some of it. All right, next one, next function we're going to add is here. Okay, saving it, adopters, okay. Now we're going to compile it. So in our terminal, it says make sure you're in the root directory. We know we're in our root directory because it tells us right here that our root directory is pet shop truffle. So truffle compile. So that'll give, we'll give it a second for it to compile. Next thing, we'll see a similar output. And as you can see, it's already, it already looks, there we go. It was successful. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is migrate, um, do a migration. Okay, so we're going to create a new file in our, let's see, called to deploy in the migrations. So migrations, new file, to underscore deploy, underscore contracts, .js. There we go. Okay. We're going to add this. Notice this little circle, when that pops up, that means you added something new, and when you save it, it disappears. So that's when you know that your work hasn't been saved yet, um, and this is important when you wanna do uh, push it up to Git. I have my Git set up here. Well, I didn't um, set it up yet. I'll, we'll do that towards the end, but it's really nice so that you can see your changes. Let's see, when you do new versions. So we added this. Be okay, so before we can migrate our contract to the blockchain, we need to have a blockchain running. For this tutorial, we're going to use Ganache, a personal blockchain for Ethereum development. You blah, blah, blah. So we're going to double click on the Ganache and launch the application. Okay. Let's see. So this is the first window that pops up. Feel free to uh, read that through on your own. And I think I'll just do a quick start. It doesn't tell us anything specific. Double click the icon, this will generate, yeah. Ganache on the first launch. So let's just uh, do the quick start. After the Ganache workspace has been created, it'll look something like this. I'm gonna scroll mine up a little bit to hide the mnemonic seed phrase that comes with it. Um, yours will look different. The current block will most likely be zero and the addresses will be zero, um, will be different. Mine says 11 because I've been running this for a little bit now. Let's go back here and on our terminal, truffle migrate. Okay. So let's hope that we see the same output. Okay. So far so good. Okay, yep, we are in business. Next, 
In Ganache, note that the state of the blockchain has changed. The blockchain now shows that the current block, previously 0, is now 4. So here is an example. When I first did it, the current block uh, also said 4 for me. Again, mine says 11 because I've been running this for a while, but um, this is where you will see it. Okay. So we've now written our first smart contract and deployed it locally, running blockchain. It's time to interact with the other ones. Let's uh, test the smart contract using Solidity. Okay, so back in our test folder, let us write a new test called test adoption. Okay. Again, I can't stress enough the importance of testing, so make sure you do not skip this section. Always test, test, test your dApps or any program. All right, so we're good here. I have OCD about the tabs. Um, okay, so that's done. We start the contract up with three imports. Assert gives us, okay, just, so read this. Testing the adopt function. Okay, so now we're gonna add this function to our test adoption file. This is declaring our variables. Now we're adding our first function on here. We're just going to test it. Okay. Here's our test with an adoption. Okay, then we're going to testing retrieval of sample patterns and we're going to add this function. Okay, so far so good. Okay, we're gonna add this. Okay, so I think this is, we're done with the functions. Okay. Let's see, testing the smart contract using JavaScript. So we're going to create a new file called, let's see, okay, in here, test adoption dot test dot js, okay, we have our new file, okay, that's good. Okay, we start contract by importing adoption. All right, read through that. Okay, and then within that same uh, file, add the following function with the test adoption um, after the declaration of before code box. So after the before, okay. So right here within this nested one. See, this is why I like, like it to be tabbed and auto formatted for me. There we go. This before should be within this describe, as you can tell. If you like, um, I, what I like about VS Code is um, it'll tell you where it, like, it finishes wrapping. So this is our um, where it started, and you see down here, um, it's, it's, it's the end enclosed, um, the corresponding um, closing bracket. So after the declaration of before code block, we're gonna do describe before blah, 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 it, okay, this is good, okay. Oh no. My formatting is not. Anyway, let's keep going. Things to notice, read that. Okay, we're going to add this function below the previously, below the previously added function, so below this one, before the it. Yeah, what's going on with this formatting? Okay. So this should be with this. All right, where does this one end? Yeah, right there. So where is this one corresponding to? Uh, did they add an extra one? Uh, okay. It's supposed to be for this one, so we can remove that. That's why. There we go. Now this one means that it'll end here. Maybe, wait, maybe put it back. There we go. Okay. So now this one is over here. All right, so now all the before, the it, and the it are all within the, the describe. Okay, so we're back in business with our formatting. Describe before it's it. Yes, so we just put the last one. I think it can fetch. It can fetch the collection of all pet owners. Okay, that was the last one. Now let's run the test. 
if I'll full test. If all tests pass, you should see this, creating a user interface to interact with the smart contracts. Okay, um, I'll create uh, a third part for this part. 